I feel the need to come on and make an update about the X1 credit card because I've told you guys that that was kind of my daily driver. I really liked it. Uh, it was, you know, high credit limit, good reward points. Um, I'd had no issues with the card and it did great for six or eight months and no problems. And then last week, um, there were reports that other people's X1 cards were losing their credit limit. So they would go from 20,000 down to 5,000 or uh, one person said that he went from 13,000 to 3,000. So major cuts in the credit limits. And I was like, Ugh, you know, I don't, I don't know. Maybe they're, maybe that's based on people not using the cards because, you know, some companies will, they'll, they'll cut your credit limit if you just don't use it. Um, I use my credit limit every month and sometimes I actually roll the credit limit because I go over my limit and I pay it down, you know. Um, I'll go up to the limit, pay it down, go up to the limit again. Um, so I know a lot of banks don't like that either, but, um, you know, usually you'll know right away whether that's an issue. Chase, it's an issue. Don't do that with Chase. Um, but most banks actually don't care. Uh, I've done it with the Apple card several times, never had an issue. I've done it with the X1 card several times, never had an issue. Um, I choose to pay all of my business bills on my credit card uh, because of the reward points. Even if it's 1%, you know, if I'm paying $15,000 a month in business bills at 1%, that's, that's a pretty good chunk of money that I get every month just for paying my bills. Um, so, always do, always have, probably always will. So, um, everyone was posting on the X1 Facebook group that, you know, they were getting their limits cut. It was happening, I mean, for three days, it was happening so many times. I mean, just everybody was posting. You wouldn't believe how many posts there were. And I was thinking, well, you know, maybe maybe there's some sort of issue. I don't know what it is, but, uh, you know, clearly they're lowering everybody's. Um, I kind of thought that maybe, you know, maybe they're just uh, trying to make room for new people because they just opened up the card so you don't have to go on a waiting list now. So maybe they're lowering other people's credit limits to make room for new people. I don't know. Um, but I kept an eye on my account just to see if my limit would get dropped and um, continue to use it as normal. As of today, my limit has not been dropped. Um, so we're still good there. But this morning, uh, AT&T tried to take their, you know, bill out of my account. My um, business account is... 5300 and some dollars a month. And um, that's normal. I've paid that bill a hundred times with this card, so it's not a big deal. Um, and they declined it. And the reason that they gave for declining it was transaction error. Now, you may not know this, but X1, this is a pretty common thing. Um, transaction error means nothing. It means that we don't know what we're doing. We don't know how to run a credit card. Uh, so it happens a lot. You usually just run it through again. It's not a big deal. Well, AT&T did try to run it through again. And again, they declined it for a transaction error. Um, that also happens sometimes, two times in a row. You're, you're like, okay, well, I'll just forget it now and I'll go back to it later and, you know, try it again later. Well, I don't know why, but AT&T did try it again later today. Uh, and they tried twice. And... It gave the same error, transaction error, um, both times, which is a little odd that you would have it four times in a row and you split it up across multiple times. But then I got an email. 1,000 feet, turn, 1, feet, turn left. Then I got an email from X1 saying that my account was on hold pending verification. So they wanted me to verify that it was me trying to use the card. Now, fraud prevention is a thing, and, and I have dealt with that before, and it's fairly easy. I mean, you just go in and say, yep, it's me, and then they unlock the card and you're good to go. Um, boys. Anyway, um, I went on to do the verification, and it asked me to take a picture of my driver's license, and I'm like, that's weird. I mean, I understand it's probably just fraud prevention, verification, whatever. I took a picture of my driver's license. Then it wanted a picture of my face to verify that it matched my driver's license. So I did that. And it says, okay, you're verified. Thanks for doing this or whatever. Yeah, I don't know. 
thought we were good. So I go to use the card in person and it gets declined and I get a text message instantly saying that the charge was declined because the account is under review. And I'm like, okay, so it's more than just verification. It's, it's an actual, like some sort of review that they're doing. It's a little annoying. Um, you know, I mean, really what it boils down to, if you can't afford to pay on your high reward rates that you promise everybody, you probably shouldn't offer them to everybody, you know, because there are more people than just me who try to maximize on those re reward points. I get 3% back with this card on every single purchase. And so, yes, I put over $25,000 a month on it. I use it for everything, everything except for food, because restaurants right now are giving me 10% cash back with my American Express. So I use that for food. Everything else goes on the X1 card. And I've been looking at alternatives because there are other cards that offer 3% just in case this sort of thing came up you know, especially with all the credit limits being dropped. I mean, it would be a real challenge for me to try to keep everything paid on a monthly basis if my credit, credit limit were any lower than it is right now. So waiting to hear back to see what their decision is on this. Um, at this point, I would care less if they close the account because it is very clear they cannot pay out. I mean, that's the only possible explanation they cannot pay out on the amount of rewards. When I contacted support to ask them, you know, what's up with the account verification? They told me that um, a high amount of usage on the card would flag it for this. And that the best way to prevent it is to try to use the card only a few times a day. So you're telling me how many times I can use the card now? No, no. <laughs> so we'll see what their little review comes up with and I mean if the account gets re-enabled I'm going to continue to use it as much as I possibly can because I've got a few purchases that I need to redeem points for and I'm just like $300 worth of points away from it after that will I keep the card I don't know um FNBO is offering two percent on every single purchase Apple Card's offering two percent with Apple Pay you know the, all these are pretty decent and, um, and you don't have to jump through a bunch of hoops. I've never had an issue with my Apple card declining because I used it too much. And hopefully more usage on my Apple card will mean a higher credit limit in the near future. So, um, you know, I used to have that uh, $19,000 credit limit and then ended up having to close that card. And now I'm back down to 9000 So the quicker I can get up to 19000 the better I am. All right, let's go home.